Hey guys, good day. Welcome back to my channel, Chris from Chris's Treasure Chest. Uh, today I wanted to do a video on my December 2019 sales. Um, I want to highlight about 10 items that I sold and um, tell you what I paid for them and what I got, uh, what I made in profit. Uh, so, uh, but I can tell you sales were up 5.5% over prior year. Uh, this is my third Christmas doing this, I think. And uh, year on year, we're, we're doing more and more uh, in sales, uh, which is exciting. And uh, it is the fourth quarter is always the time to make money. Anyways, average selling price hovered around 56 bucks. For those of you that know me and watch my videos, you want to be over that $45 mark to make money in this business. And there's several videos about average selling price if you look at my channel's other videos. Anyways, guys, so um, let's go right to it. And um, these are 10 items that um, that I've sold uh, in December and uh, hoping that maybe you can find them when you're out and about. First one here is the ESP XG PCS 15D 120 volt 15 amp pigtail surge protector. Now, this is a little bit unique because uh, I have a deal with a, with a local recycler um, and um, he uh, buys off-lease copiers and these units are attached to every single one so there's no money in them. Um, I've got them listed for $29.99. I have access to about 5,000 of these guys and I've already sold 20 at $20 a piece. Uh, the first order went to a company in Montreal. Uh, what they do is they use them and reinstall pre-owned photocopiers around uh, the province of Quebec. So I hope he will be a regular customer. Very nice, nice deal I have um, with this uh, recycler uh, contact. Anyways, this one here, guys, this is a very cool, cool find. I found this at uh, Salvation Army right here in Milton, Ontario. The, I think I paid 10 bucks for this, guys. Um, this is a vintage Moran's in-dash car AM FM cassette stereo. It's new old stock. The box was a little bit beat up as you can see, but the unit was still factory sealed. Unbelievable. It had a wood grain, you can see it there, the wood green grain plate. Um, I, I just kind of dug around in a bunch of uh, auto uh, you know, boards online and there was a big demand for new stuff like this for vintage cars. I listed it for $179.99. A guy offered me $100, I turned it down, and then the next day it sold for that price there, which I'm really, really happy about. This is from the recycler uh, as well. Um, uh, there's no money in it and uh, worked perfectly. It was in great, great shape. Look at that. And, like, there was no scratches in it or whatever, uh, but it worked perfect. Uh, I sold it for $159.99. Uh, this is the Sony CDP CX335 CD changer. These do sell well, guys, if they work. I see them all the time out there. This is uh, a, a cart racing suit. Um, uh, a fireproof suit for uh, go-kart racing. Um, this... It was kind of a funny story. I was, it was late in the day at one of the value villages and um, talking to a couple of guys that I know and uh, the girl was coming out of the back room to put this in the showcase. I think I paid $39.99 or $29.99 for it. Anyways, it did sell for $100. That's the going market for these guys, but $100 to $120, depending on the brand. But this was just beautiful, beautiful suit. Nothing wrong with it. Mint, mint condition. Very nice. This here was, um, I, I took a chance on this. I bought this at the Salvation Army in Brampton. It was in their showcase. Um, the comps were high, low, like over 100, 110, 99. Um, I bought it for 39.99 and I had a coupon for $10 off, I think. Um, and I did get, I think I sold it. I did sell it for seventy nine ninety nine. It, it was it was heavy. It was all solid metal. Uh, it's a buy. It's a wine opener you put on your bar, and you put the bottle underneath, and it comes right off. But th this was a pretty cool find. Funny story with this one, guys. Um, I bought this a few months ago. I came with the DVD player, and uh, the DVD player didn't work, unfortunately. 
uh, but the DVD player had the remote. I sold the remote already uh, for it. And then the TV here came with the remote, worked perfectly, um, tested it. I think I paid five bucks or something for both of them. Um, and uh, I, I sold it to a guy for $69.99. Uh, he sent me a message. Uh, he wanted to. Uh, he wanted it to play Nintendo games with his daughter. So um, I, you know, I was a little bit nervous. I've never shipped a TV. This is a 13-inch TV. I wrapped it all up in bubble wrap, put peanuts, and just hoped it got there. It got there in one piece. Thank you, Canada Post, for not uh, smashing that box. But uh, very, very happy customer. This is a very cool item. Now. I want you guys to look out for this. This company's called M I N O X, and they make miniature, sub-miniature cameras. They make spy cameras. Some of the cameras they sell, if you look them up, if you go to their website, I think they're in Germany, can sell up to two to three hundred dollars. Uh, this is a replica of a Leica M3. Um, you can actually get a little flash for it. It's actual digital camera guy with a with a lens. I sold it to a guy for seventy nine ninety nine. It was pretty much all there. I think I paid around $14.99. This was in the showcase. Um, and uh, you, I tested it. I got a battery. It works amazing. It's, it's just crazy how this little miniature camera takes such good photos. But keep an eye out, guys. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Miniature Leica. There's a little screen on the back. Very, very cool. Very, very cool item. Okay, I, I got here um, this vintage Sony STR V45. I bought this receiver and I bought the actual tape deck with the wooden ends. Um, this is the rare wood edition. Uh, they made this model without that. But as you can see in the photos here, it was damaged, the veneer on one side. Now, it wasn't a deal breaker. I got $69.99 for it. Um, I haven't sold the tape deck. The tape deck is not working uh, at all. Uh, like I think I paid 15 bucks each for the one, $15 for the receiver, $15 for the tape deck. Um, I think if it wasn't damaged like this, I would have got way, way more over a hundred, but still a nice sale. Make sure, and you know, guys, in my other videos, I keep showing you uh, coin counters and, and these things sell. And this I found in its box in the houseware uh, section buried underneath and at a price of $14.99 on the outside of the box. Um, it was complete. This is a universal money counter. It'll, it'll count, count any currency in the world. It's adaptable. Uh, you just have to set the settings. Um, paid $14.99. I sold it for $70. $70.99 to a guy out west. Um, he's received it and it works great. Things like this, guys, even vintage money counter sell. They're out there. You'll run into them. Now, this one here, I picked up for $5.99. I want you, I, why I included this, because people ask me if Christmas stuff sells. This company here, Mr. Christmas, this is from 1997. It's an animated lighthouse, about that big. And it's a tree topper. It goes on your tree. And as you can see, I'm going to see if I can highlight this for you. There you go. The reindeer rotate around and the light rotates on top. And you can see right on the box, $59.99 in 1997. So I listed it for $59.99 and it sold basically instantly to somebody in the U.S. Actually, the lady paid extra money to get it there for Christmas. She wanted to use it for her tree. All right, guys, there you have it. There's 10 items that... Um, I found and I sold and uh, you see what I paid for them and uh, what I got for them and um, I hope uh, it's helped you in, in maybe picking up on a few items that you see in the thrift stores that you've never bought. There you go and I uh, hope you make some money if you find them. All right guys, uh, next thank you all for the questions that you left down below on my last video. I will be doing a Q&A very, very shortly. Um, I'm just going to wait a couple of days to uh, build up the questions. And uh, I want to thank all my new subscribers the last couple of days. Thank you so much, guys. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, it means a lot uh, that you guys are watching and uh, commenting and enjoying the channel. Okay, guys, that's it for now. Until my Q&A video, it's Chris from Chris's Treasure Chest. I hope you guys all have a great day.